Welcome back, everyone, to the Worldwide Arena, where we are counting down the hours to Halloween having its Sunday. It's October the 29th. It's exclusively on pay-per-view, and well, it looks like Bobby the Brain Heenan and uh, Scott Hudson are definitely both in the spirit of the holidays, living legend. Well, you know, Bobby's uh, dressed as the world's uh, largest coat hanger, and but it's tough to beat that mask Hudson's wearing. That is scary Very, stuff. very scary. And as we see Big Kevin Northcutt, a 300-pounder from Louisiana, already in the ring and set for singles competition. His opponent, if you take a look at him, well, it's like he's got a little jump start on Halloween as well with this outfit. It's the 70s guy, Mike Awesome. Whether you like the costume, the ring entrance, whether you like the ring attire, you cannot deny the wrestling ability of the 70s guy, Mr. Awesome. Well, I think Mr. Awesome said this year he's going to go as Timothy Leary. That's not bad. You never know. Dr. Timothy Leary. Of course he was. Of course he was. It looks like he's got a nice jump start on that with the uh, 70s shades. And, of course, the always appropriate gold necklace. Of course, Halloween Havoc this Sunday exclusively on pay-per-view to be headlined by a world's title defense. Booker T is going to put the championship belt on the line against a man that many people have said is so deserving of a shot at this championship belt. And when you take into account his unpredictability, factor in his wrestling skills, his amateur background, it's a surprise to me that Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump, has not been the world's heavyweight champion before he gets that shot at half. Well, it's surprising. I mean, it looks great on paper when you write everything you said down, but the fact of the matter is, uh, Big Scott Steiner's only problem is, is his unemotional, un un uncontrolled. I mean, he's just a, a maniac. His temper loses his ability to incorporate his science. Oh, right there, the 70s guy almost got pinned. You know, I, I was raised in the 70s. I never wore a gold chain. You ever had a leisure suit? I wouldn't be caught dead in a leisure suit. Oh, so awesome. Hell on. It just wouldn't make sense for a living legend to be caught dead in a leisure suit, would Certainly it? Certainly not. Look at this spring move by the big man, awesome, from the ring apron in the ring. Cut him with the shoulder block, comes off the ropes, goes airborne, connects with the splash, hooks the leg, and gets a two count on Kevin Northcutt. And Northcutt has been very impressive in these worldwide Whoa! matchups as of late. Northcutt is gone! Big youngster from New Orleans, Louisiana, just taken up and over the top, down to the arena floor by the awesome clothesline. And there he goes, airborne again, up and over the top. That's not a cruiserweight. That's Mike Austin. That's six foot five, 280 pounds in the air. And the suicide dive connected on Northcutt, who just took a short yeah, North Northcutt taking shortcuts, but again, a guy like Austin, you don't expect him to come flying at you over the top rope like that for a big man, very agile, lousy chase and clothes, but you could probably buy all them bell bottoms real cheap now. And speaking of lousy taste and clothes, how about Crowbar, who that 70s guy Mike Austin has sort of taken under his wing in the past couple of weeks. Again, whether you agree with their philosophy, with their lifestyle or not, you can't deny the great wrestling oh! of the tag team of Crowbar and Mike Austin. Crowbar likes to do moves like that, where he doesn't even care about his own physical well-being. Neither does Austin. They make a great team. Well, Crowbar is insane. He would have fit perfect back in the you know, late 60s and early 70s when the world went berserk and still didn't recover. But Austin, man, did he crank Northcutt. And again, look at this big man. He's getting ready to fly. Sensational agility for the heavyweight. Off the top. Hit the close line. Hooks the leg. Shoulders are down. Referee Charles Robinson in with the two count. But Northcutt able to still avoid the pin. That's several times that it's looked like Mike Awesome, the 70s guy, was on the verge of oh. victory. And again, this time he rushed into the corner. Northcutt still has what something left in the tank. Caught him with the super kick. Hey, a Northcutt big man. Looks like he's got some good balance with all that weight. Something a little bit of experience. Uh, might help this guy wind up with a career, wouldn't it? Look at this. Where's he going? North Cut mocking the crowd up. Well, that's a sudden stop on that baseball slide drop kick. You've got to measure the distance between the floor and the rope. North Cut doesn't have enough clearance. <laughs> Clarence? <laughs> Mike. Mike. Mike Clarence. That may be the opening that Mike Awesome's looking for. To the top rope. Whoa, what a big splash. Frog splash off the top. North Cut down. Wait a minute. He kicked out again, and the look on Mike Awesome's face tells the whole story. He's yeah, shocked. He's confused right now, but again, North Cut just powered himself out of but three predicaments. Look, he's a big, strong guy, but he's looking a little wobbly. And Awesome, wait a minute, he dumped Awesome! Awesome known for the running power bomb, and it sure looked like that was the move he was going to try to employ. Cut off with a back body drop by Northcutt, 
but Norcutt goes to celebrate, and Norcutt picks him up the top and drives him down to the mat. Got two, and this time he beat him. Persistence pays for that 70s guy, Mike. Awesome. Well, persistence and perseverance and combination wrestling. A little haircut wouldn't hurt. Another victory for the 70s guy, Mike Awesome, as we head into Halloween Havoc. This certainly deserves another look on our Castrol GTX replay. Larry, Castrol GTX motor oil drive hard. And that Mike Awesome drove that shoulder hard, and Mr. Northcutt picked up a man well over 300 pounds, and he jumped him hard right straight to victory. Great win for Mike Awesome. We're back with more Worldwide right after this.